How you doing my hypelings? HMK here once again with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Nintendo Switch hype video. It's going down. We're almost two weeks away from release. And guys, first and foremost, thank you so much for over 100,000 subscribers. If you guys didn't know, my Nintendo Switch contest already started alongside my Breath of the Wild existing contest. Both of them, you can find out information on how to enter both of them in the description box below. So check that out. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk a bit about the story of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and how it's being handled in game. Now, um, Shigeru Miyamoto said multiple times that uh, he doesn't feel that the story is as you know super important as related to the gameplay, and that's true. Well, I you know I think it's true. And um, for the most part, the story did take a bit of a backseat when developing uh, Zelda games, uh, with the exception of Skyward Sword. They really wanted to have a fleshed out story about the origin tale of the Legend of Zelda chronology and whatnot. So. Um, the biggest factor that uh, the reason, the biggest factor leading to that decision about how handling the story in each Zelda game comes from uh, the notion that he doesn't want the game to be too linear. He doesn't want the game to, you know, focus so much on the story. You have to go this way at this certain time. You got to go do that at that certain time. You have to, you know, you have to have the story leading you uh, throughout the game. He doesn't want that in his uh, games or um, Zelda games to be uh, more precise. And in The Legend of Zelda uh, A Link Between Worlds, he finally, he and the team, Eiji and Nomura, uh, everyone at Nintendo, they finally were finding a way to, you know, implement that a little bit. Because, as you know, if you played A Link Between Worlds, that game is completely nonlinear. You can go and, uh, you know, tackle almost any dungeon in uh, any order after you defeat the first two or whatever. Um, but because of that, the story of A uh, Link Between Worlds, I wouldn't say it, it wasn't. Bad. Okay, it, I'm not saying it was bad, but it was definitely lacking because there wasn't any type of narrative to drive uh, the game along because you can go and uh, complete the game in any order that you want it to, right? And at that point, narrative can only be spoken or displayed to you when you defeat a certain dungeon and it feels a little convoluted and I thought it was... I didn't, I'm not saying it was a mess, but I thought it wasn't, you know, complete. And uh, even though Miyamoto says this about the story, I find the Legend of Zelda story and the lore super compelling, and I would love to have compelling stories in my Zelda games. You know, uh, definitely gameplay first, but, you know, I, I love the story of Zelda games so far. So, when handling the story of Breath of the Wild, um, when they had an interview with Game Informer, they said something that wasn't really news, but they want to clarify a bit more on what they said. And, that the, and the fact is that Breath of the Wild, you can go anywhere at any time, defeat anything, go to any dungeon, do anything you want. As soon as you get off the Great Plateau, you know, anything goes. You can go for Calamity Ganon in the beginning. If You can go and de uh, discover the story if you want. And they reiterated that, yes, you can dodge around story elements in Breath of the Wild. You are not obligated to, you know, complete the story in order to complete the game. You're not obligated to have the narrative uh, allow you to go to certain parts of the game. That's what they want. That's what they really want in a Zelda game. But uh, Anuma said that he was playing around with an idea that he created like something 20 years ago, and he implemented this special idea, this special thing into Breath of the Wild to how it, like it was a trick for him to implement the story in Breath of the Wild so that you know you can either enjoy the story or enjoy the game. Uh, he was very vague on what he was trying to say about the story and how it's handled in Breath of the Wild, but uh, Mimo did say something that, you know, they used in order for, a, a, I would say, a developmental standpoint when considering the story of Breath of the Wild, and that was from uh, Ocarina of Time, where there were four main bullet points that Mimo considered, and that's four specific girls that you had to find, meet, and part with in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and I'm assuming that the four girls are Zelda, um, Malon, uh, Surya and Rutu, you know, because those are the only, you know, girls that you meet. You meet and you part, you meet and you part, you meet and you part. And I do believe that every time you meet them were uh, was a bit of a developmental point for the game's story and for Link as a character. So, um, if they were to use a bit of something, like, a similar strategy to that in Breath of the Wild, that's what I think they're gonna do. You know, uh, Aji Anuma said that he has this trick that he's been displaying, and then, you know, Miyamoto said that. They were very vague on it, but I do believe that there are going to be certain points in the game where um, you're able to experience the story, and it's completely optional. 
but when you do that it enriches the gameplay even more and that's by you know going to certain places talking with certain people and you know triggering certain elements in the game because if Anuma and Miyamoto are really serious about oh you can dodge the game story then that really you know that really makes me wonder how dungeons uh because we do know they're coming back will be handled in Breath of the Wild because like you go to a dungeon and you beat it and then like what happens do does a cutscene not play does a story element not get revealed does something not you know get displayed or whatever but um not only dungeons i think is going to play heavily into the story but links memories from the time uh that displayed over 100 years ago and you know we already know that there's going to be two time periods in this game when link was uh, after link awakens from stasis 100 years uh later and you know what we're going to find out 100 years before because we do have confirmation that there will be memories that you'll be able to recover through the sheikah slate and they might have something to do with the flowers and yada 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 but that's a way to also discover the story but you know i really hope that's not too reliant on memories because that in its sense is not really a clever way or a trick that Anuma developed 20 years ago cuz that has been you know pretty evident in a lot of games and a lot of people don't like that approach you know the, you know just telling the story completely through cutscenes uh-uh, like uh, i'm just really interested to see what the balance is to see what that trick is that Anuma com- that says that oh yeah this is how we're going to handle the story don't worry i got a trick and i re- i'm really excited to see how you guys are going to discover it and to see how you guys, you know, appreciate it. So I really want to I really want to know what this trick is. And I've been trying to figure it out on my own and you know, Zelda games have always been surprising me with how they handle the story, how they handle the gameplay, how they handle gaming in general and how they innovate the industry. And Breath of the Wild seems to be doing just that. But then again, that's how they're handling the story. They said they're really vague on it, but they did state that you'd be able to dodge the story completely if you wanted to but there are ways to enrich the gameplay by figuring out the story uh figuring out the stories of the multiple people that you meet and you know just finding out what happened to the ruined land of Hyrule so i really want to see how this is re- how how this is going to be done by Ainuma and the rest of the Zelda team but i want to know what you guys think What do you believe the story is how the story is going to be handled in Breath of the Wild? All right. I don't want it completely done by cutscenes, not not cutscenes. I don't want it completely done by memories, by the flowers or anything. I want to experience the story as I go on in game, but you know, there isn't really a type of indicator pointing in any direction of how the story is going to be handled in Breath of the Wild. When pressed on about it, Anuma and Mimoro, they seem to be very vague on it, but they still give us clues. So, I'll still like to understand how the story will be handled. and breath of the wild but let me know your thoughts comments and theories in the comment section below and be sure to enter my existing breath of the wild giveaway and my Nintendo Switch giveaway everything you need to know description box below so guys until the next breath of the wild hype video i've been HMK now check you guys later